All right, we are back from break. I've managed to convince Knight, Knight and Glow, to come play with us, so thank you. She's gonna observe the first round while we all have terrible, terrible pitches, so. <laughs> um, I will go ahead and be the first customer, so what we're gonna do is everyone is gonna get five of these blue cards. I would just deal them out, but um, uh, Yuri, go ahead and just draw five of these cards. Okay. And I'll be the first customer, and you have to give me a product. I'm an astronaut. I am an astronaut. I need something for space for being a better astronaut. Um, okay, can I go first? Yeah, we'll just go clockwise. Okay, and so what I have for you today, so astronaut, I assume you're an astronaut, you look like, like an astronaut, a fine astronaut, if I do say so. I have for you some titties. Now, let me tell you about titties. Everybody needs some titties, especially on an out, on a spaceship. I know it can get a bit cramped on a spaceship, but let me tell you, we well, you need to have a bit of personal time on this, on this spaceship. So it, these titties. There. You can use them for personal purposes. Okay, you can so use them for space. You're, you, you put two cards together to make a snake oil product. So what kind of titties are they? Oh. Sorry. They are... <laughs> jelly titties. <laughs> <laughs> Extra jiggly. Uh, I mean... As I was saying, my good, my, my good madam, you can do anything with these titties. You can use them for personal time. You can use them for... Um, if you need to seal things on the ship, you can use them as probably a food stuff. You can use them if you need to check if there's any air leaks. You can use okay, them so here's what for I need any to know. sort of things, madam. What kind of jelly are we talking about? Are we talking about like jelly baby jellies or are we talking about like jam jelly? I think for, for the I think for this purpose we'll be going with je, um, jelly babies. Or the or the like gelatin. I think, you... well, actually, I was thinking more of gelatin. Um, okay, so they're gelatin. Like the kind that you, the kind that's probably not good for eating, but won't necessarily harm you if you do eat it. Yuri, let, let's see what you've got. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna go for a more humanitarian approach, and I'm gonna pitch you to this special product, the flower spray. Flower spray. So, you know. For all terraforming needs. Gotta make the moon look pretty, yo. So so tell me what this what this flower spray will do for me. Well you spray it and stuff and then flowers will grow. And then you can make look everything flowery. So um I would be really worried that the jelly titties would get clogged in the instance. You can't just have stuff floating that around. That the, the jelly titties what? They get they clogged up the instruments on spacecraft. I can assure you, ma'am, these jelly titties won't clog a thing. I don't believe it. <laughs> Gotta go with the flower spray. Ooh. So go ahead and discard the rest of your cards. Draw a new hand of five. Knight, if you would like to participate, you can go ahead and also draw so five I, cards. I throw, I throw my current cards away too. Yes, everyone will discard all of their cards. Well, not off the table, <laughs> Nano. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. Uh-huh. <laughs> Did you enjoy my pitch night? Definitely. <laughs> so, Nana, go ahead and draw five more cards, the blue cards. Um, Knight, are you still just observing for now? Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, we'll go clockwise, so, Nana, you are gonna be the next person who needs a snake Custom. oil product. Go and flip it. Let's see who you are. I am a prison guard. Oh gosh. <laughs> uh, 
Yuri, you get to go first. I need to turn down the tunes because they're a little bit loud. So here's my brilliant new product, a bonk tap. Mm -hmm. So okay. when you're, yeah, when your prisoners escape, you leave them a bong in a tap. So they're gonna go for it and you can catch them again easily. <laughs> I have ethic. I have ethical. Um, I have ethical um, reasons to reject that product. I, I don't believe that people using bongs should be reoffended as crime as crime. Times of substance use are very minor and do more damage. Hey, but they're already in prison. This is to catch escaping prisoners. Are you saying that you want to lure drug? Are you saying you want to lure drug addicted prisoners with your bong trap? Nah, everyone loves a bong, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I am can still do you. I am still <laughs> on the fence. Guard and now. you. I, I can do you one better because you you don't work in a prison where people escape a lot, right? You want to treat your prisoners good so they don't even try to escape. Am I right? You're right. You know what else I'm right about? Everyone loves cheese. Everybody loves cheese. And you know where cheese comes from? It comes from animals. I have the finest quality I'm animal cheese at discount <laughs> prices that you can use as a luxury to feed your prisoners to keep them happy. And a happy prisoner's not gonna try to escape. Mm, that... Hey, but think about, about what animals it came from. It could be red <laughs> cheese. It could be horse cheese. Be I don't think that- cheese. I don't think- if the prisoners won't mind what I don't tell them, it won't hurt them, you know what I'm saying, and I'm sure I could- <laughs> I'm sure I could keep the profit from this venture for myself. But hey, how about that tank weed? Oh, how about that? <laughs> you could sit in your own what... bong tap and use it. I will, well, I think if, uh, if that's all, I think I'll go for the animal cheese because people, because prisoners need to eat and their drug problems are, are their own. I don't the drugs to trap them. So, Asteni, my fine woman, you have got yourself a... Hooray! Okay, here we go and draw five cards. Um, and then you are going to be our next customer. So go ahead and draw a customer card and tell us who you are. You can keep your hand nano since you didn't use your cards. Oh, <laughs> What? <laughs> Incesto file. Incesto file. Interesting. Um, okay. Okay, well, so do I go first? Or I what? think I would go first because we go clockwise. So. I understand that um, you want to have sex with your family. And, yeah. um. You, I also understand that that is not kosher. People don't appreciate that. And so... <laughs> um, rather than having sex with your actual family member, why not simulate it instead with a vibrator? And then Just after you No, because after you are so ashamed about having sex with your family, um... It, it actually kills you? Wow! <laughs> wow! I know. Oh, I love having sex with my family. Where should I be? <laughs> Buy the suicide what? vibrator what? today is the best way to go out. <laughs> I'm um, sorry. I, I'm sure that, sure that hey, my Hey, society can't... doesn't accept it, but I do. <laughs> um... Despite my fine colleague here having a wonderful product, I have a competing <laughs> offer. And that is, well, I can see that you are, that you are, love your family very much. And you know that consent, that consent is very important for that. I have a pill for you. Huh? Giggle pill. 
so that once you give them this, they will be so happy to do whatever you say that they will consent to anything that you want so to do with them. So you're basically giving them a roofie. Hey. You, you, your choice is between a roofie and a vibrator that kills you. <laughs> so after the bowl, with the single kill, you can sell, you can sell it to yourself that they will be happy to you. You. They could be happy and together and, you know, happy family together. And if you use my learning, I think it's very sad to, with your passing, but this way they already have, have happy memory. <clears throat> yeah, I can just use a kill pill to get over the crippling depression for being ostracized by society. Yeah, I mean, who actually I mean, that, that? that's a better use for it than using it to yeah <laughs> yeah i'm, I'm gonna not advocating go i'm not advocating that you root for your family certainly not good sir <laughs> but um if you if every if you if everyone is just happy that nobody has yeah i mean i would yeah, argue that just like... because you're happy doesn't mean that you consent to sex so um just saying <laughs> and, it, and, and i'll have you know good madam that it doesn't have to only be sex what do you think incest is it could be a lot of other ways besides sex you know all right so draw five <laughs> cards um i'm a castaway knight would you like in on this round or no <laughs> <laughs> exploding kittens <laughs> probably <laughs> though to be fair this is the nsfw version of the game there there is a not unsafe for work version but everyone was like play the that nsfw so i need to i need to take five right yes and then i'm a castaway right. and you're up so <laughs> what i uh, you know i'm it, trapped on an island um I'm all alone. Okay, so if I'm going first, may I offer you? May I offer you? you cast away. I have bacteria, but not just any bacteria. I have bacteria soup. <laughs> now let me tell you, this bacteria soup has a thousand and one uses. Pieces, madam, it can feed you. It can turn into a shelter. It can it can turn into for you things for you to dig with. It can turn into something to help you survive in the wilderness. It can give you a thousand and one uses, and all it will cost you is one low low payment of your soul. But anyway, this will give you everything that you need to survive on a on a desert island, a flare, a shelter, fire water and it'll feed you and it will let you climb up to the trees can you or explain even the, the how soup. this bacteria soup is able to do all this that's because it is the bacteria is programmed to react to your thoughts so anytime you think of something that you need it'll turn into that thing and it'll use the material around you whatever that may be whether it be sad rocks flea it's whatever you need, it'll turn into whatever you need. Will it turn into a boat to get me off the island? Can it turn into a cell phone? And a cell what, phone sorry? tower? <clears throat> can it turn uh, into a Bell cell Stone phone and tower. cell phone tower? Yes. Yes, it can indeed turn into a cell phone tower. You just think of it and the, and the bacteria soup will go out among the island and then devour whatever is in its path and then transform into a cell phone tower. Hey, hey I have something that can get you off Yuri? the island. <laughs> I have a staircase that can get you off the island. But it's not just any staircase, it's a smile staircase, so you'll be happy going up it. So, so where is that staircase going to take me? It's a stairway to heaven, you know. <laughs> I think I have to go with the bacteria soup.
Nano and Yuri draw five cards. Nano, draw your next customer card as well. <clears throat> Nano, are you still there? Sorry, I had a phone call. What did you say? Oh, I told you to draw your next five cards and then draw a customer card. And Knight, it is up to you if you- Oh, whoop! I gave you those cards. Those are your new cards. All right. So you can keep those. Knight is totally up to you. If you want to stay and hang out and voice and watch, that is totally fine. If you would like to drop out and just watch on stream, that's okay too. Whatever you want to do. Or if you'd like to be dealt in, but it doesn't seem like you're into this game, that's fine. Uh, so I have the sports <laughs> What's I don't that? like the island that has the bacteria suit. <laughs> well, it's not really my job to worry about the environmental effects that they have. Have the island to sell to my discerning customer. Well, Knight, would you like to try a round? I think it would and... be cool. I promise to be very uh, low key. <laughs> oh God! And it's it's just a sports mascot, and maybe you'll get like some cat options, or you can like <laughs> say that they're like cats. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some cards. You can go last. So go ahead, you can flip those over in your hand and just kind of take a look at them, see if you get some ideas. <clears throat> Try to think of a good cat mascot. Yuri, you will go first. Hey, I think your costume needs a new item in it. So I'm gonna sell you a shirt, but it's not just any shirt. <clears throat> it's a passion, so it's gonna make everyone feel passionate and love you. You know, perfect for a sports mascot, wouldn't you think? Mm, yes, I can see how people loving me would be good, but what happens if they decide that they love me a lot and they decide to then try to steal me in the middle of the game and try to do? <gasps> Well, you know what? Me. I actually have a solution for that very problem right here in my bag of wonders. Because... Oh, it... <laughs> do tell me, good matter. <laughs> so, when you're a mascot, you need to make sure that you keep people in line. Like, your job is to keep the crowd happy, but keep, like, keep the unruly people from getting too unruly, am I right? You're right, madam. So you're gonna need some kind of weapon. But not like, not like a deadly weapon, just like a cane. Maybe a cane made of rubber. So that way it's not gonna hurt them too much, but it'll still smart. So that way you can mm -hmm. work it into your mascot outfit. We have many designs for it. Uh, we can mm -hmm. color code it to your sports team's colors. And it's not gonna hurt mm -hmm. anybody, but you can do that thing where like if someone's on stage and they're being a doof, and you yank them off stage with the cane, you can do that with your new rubber cane. Ooh, I do like that indeed, and I'm sure I could also <laughs> use it to accidentally hit, hit, um, I get too close to me or to the talents. I mean, whatever you do with it at that point is up to you, sir. <laughs> I shall, I shall consider it, but also this passion, this passion shirt, gives me ideas too and uh what about hey, you your young miss hey, you don't well, need to beat up people if they love you you need people to love you by food right mm -hmm. you can just hand out food to them but also your problem is that you can't run away from them so what happens if you had balloons that you could fly away as you're tossing out bacon Ooh, so you're saying that i can <laughs> I could float above the people and just pepper them with bacon from the skies. Yeah. With your bacon balloon. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Is it a I love it. Are you selling... <laughs> Are you giving me a balloon that's made of bacon, or balloons and bacon <laughs> separate? Balloons and bacon separate. Mm. Because if the balloon was made of bacon, the balloon would pop. And then but would what die. if it was full of bacon? But you would have to hmm. pop the balloon. You know, well, you could let it out. Like, open up the bottom. Like, it's a hot air balloon, yeah. but it's also Mascot full of bacon. <laughs> what about... A balloonless bacon, then I could just give bacon out to everybody, and everybody would like me, and everybody and nobody would hate me. It's up to you. Hmm. So I've got a bacon, a bacon balloon, a rubber cane, and a passion shirt. Hey, and if it gets too I think much I'll with go the with the shirt, bacon balloon. Can just take it off, you know. Uh, the the. Fairgrounds have very strict policies against um, the bacon clothes. balloon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations, Knight. You win that round. I don't really want to play. <laughs> I'm not good at it. <laughs> you won it's that fine. round. You did so... <laughs> You did fine. Have to be like you know the '50s seller that's just worth it speaking a thousand words a minute. <laughs> you are also gonna try being our next customer. So the next customer is um, a drug dealer. Oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Yuri, you will go first. Pitch something tonight. <laughs> yeah. Hey. As a drug dealer, you want to look cool, right? Definitely. So, yeah, I uh, have a perfect thing for you. Tattoos. Tattoos are cool, right? <laughs> but it's not just Depends any tattoo. Type. It's a power tattoo, so it's gonna show them that you're the one in charge. <laughs> what type of power? In what sense? It might be a um, white power it's tattoo. It's gonna give you superpowers. <laughs> Tattoo is gonna give you superpowers. <laughs> the power tattoo. Hmm. Well, but couldn't just anyone have this type of tattoos? No, no, no. This is special for you. But how would this help this with me with my drugs? Well, you'll have superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I feel like Yuri's okay. not really addressing your special needs as a drug dealer, right? Yeah. <laughs> but don't worry, I've got you covered. <clears throat> because I have developed a new drug. A drug of the future. I call it Future Grease. <laughs> you smear it under your grease. nose, and you just get the best high. And it's really cheap to make. So you can get it at bargain basement prices, but people get really addicted to it, so you can sell a ton of it. So it can kill people? No, it's not <laughs> deadly. It just gets people really, well, really high. Well, I mean, I want it to be deadly. What happens about that? I mean... Hey, but you can just Future Grease is designed as a product for the masses. If you're looking for something to fuck up the cops... You're gonna have to go with somebody else. Somebody like me. I happen <laughs> to have something that is exactly what you need. And you know, I know you're a straight shooter sort of drug dealer, so I got you some money. And I also know <laughs> that you have a nose, so I've got you some fists. Some money fist. This is my, this is my newest and greatest creation. <laughs> what you do is when somebody, somebody comes to buy you, you'll use this money fist, and if you, you and if you sense they have a lot of it, you can just suck all the money out of them. And if any, and if any no gooder, and if any do gooder cops or civilians come by you, this so. money fist would turn all your money into paper, so nobody will know. Hey, but you could just do it with superpowers. Yeah. 
didn't really it's it's, you didn't really sell what your superpowers did. You just said superpowers, whereas my product here, I know exactly what a drug dealer needs, and she needs a money fist or a fist of money, <laughs> but I prefer money fist. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm not getting any drugs out of it. But this yeah, will yeah, help that's you where find you need the, the future, Green. Sure. You the need the future, yeah. with this. <laughs> this money fist will cause all the richest targets to glow for you, and it can send out your fellow drug pushers to them, and they'll bring you back stacks of fat cash. But what happens if my money fist breaks? Then I lose money. No, you definitely don't. I have to have a replacement money fist just for that, son. <laughs> <laughs> just for such price. Wow, which I think I'll go with the future drug. Oh. <laughs> the drugs <laughs> of the future. <laughs> Can we just have a second for me to sh show you the other cards I have? <laughs> I would like to see them, yeah. yes. Alcohol would have been good. I mean not pube. <laughs> Nose weird. alcohol would have alcohol been really good. Been yeah. <laughs> what snorting alcohol? <laughs> well, you designed it specifically for the nostrils. Yeah, should have got maybe with a drug dealer. I shouldn't have tried to sell you protection, but just sold you another drug. Yeah. You know, draw five cards. Alright. So you're a sports fan, Yuri? Yep. Hmm. <clears throat> so, you're really into sports, right? You, you're defining yourself as a sports fan here. Definitely. So, yeah. <laughs> you could say it, I'm a fanatic, Kevin. So, and when your team loses or when other people heckle your team, that makes you angry, doesn't it? Like, hey, it, like makes, it makes you want to get violent, doesn't it? But you can't get caught, because then you get thrown out. That's why mm. you need this murder tie. <laughs> 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 you wear it to all your favorite sporting works. events, and with a simple command word, it slithers from your throat. And strangles whomever you want to kill. All of the, uh, all of the brawling, none of the payback. Don't you think wearing a tie to a sports event is a little inappropriate? It'll have it's your. It, it, it's it's not gonna be like just a regular striped tie or whatever. It's got your sports team emblem on it. Color. Hey, but what if I support many sports teams? I mean, you can buy a couple of different ties then. Come in lots of different designs and logos and emblems. You could even get it monogrammed if you want, but I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Buy it today! <laughs> Murder tie! Nano, <laughs> can you compete with a murdered? <laughs> I think I can. You see, uh, hmm, I think I can. And you know, from what I see, you're a pretty dedicated sports fan. So what does every sports fan need? They need glitter. <laughs> they, they, just need, they need glitter that explodes with fuck. <laughs> So I think it's so, more like in this, it's fuck more like glitter. in this order, it's fuck glitter. <laughs> glitter, yes. <laughs> so, with glitter fuck, what this would do is when, when you, as a proud sport guy like you, you want to leave your mark everywhere you go. You oh, want no. to proudly support your your team everywhere. So, when you're, when you're um, at home and you're 
doing whatever you do. When you're out, you can use this fuck of glitter to explode with your support everywhere. Everywhere you go, glitter will be everywhere you know, everywhere you see. And even the fans of your team, they will have glitter explode around them too. So everybody <laughs> will be, everybody will be supporting them. And all you need to do with this glitter is to think of your think of your team and think at how much it excites you. And with your thoughts, this glitter will explode completely either from you or from around you as to be more discreet for the discerning consumer. And everybody will be then covered in the glitter of your team. Okay. <laughs> 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 I think you got a little bit you got a little like bit too into that. What's it made of this glitter? Yeah, he's leaving, of... leaving his mark with fuck glitter, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> is it biological? Is it synthetic? It is 100% biodegradable, 100% hypoallergenic, <laughs> guaranteed not to leave a mark on you in the way that you don't want to. Is it perhaps white and sticky? <laughs> it is definitely not white and sticky, but it definitely mixes with white and sticky things if you so Okay, want to. okay, okay, let's yeah. move on now. <laughs> I think we already got the picture. <laughs> Let's let somebody else have a turn. Well, since you're a sports fan, <laughs> since you're a sports fan, you love to be around crowds, yeah. right? You like to be surrounded by sports fans, other people, right? Yeah. But here's the thing, you're missing their sweat. You need their, their sweat. <laughs> Ew, like it's smelly. You need the sweat in the jar so you can come there with the team. So you can feel as if you're actually in the game, surrounded by your fellow crowd members. Ew, stinky. Crowd sweat, get yeah. it today. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I mean, it's better than fuck glitter. I, I think mean... this is, I think fuck glitter is wonderful. <laughs> but you're surrounded by other people. Yes, uh, and that's exactly the best time to use this. this. Everybody will be covered I in fuck glitter. Crowd sweat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like... I think yeah, this I'm is how it should be. Murder, <laughs> murder tie! <laughs> yeah, because then I can just kill the sports people I don't like. Yeah, that was my thought, right? I had trail as well, so I thought about glitter trail. Trail glit. Why is the lag so bad? <laughs> Probably because I'm hosting it. <laughs> and I'm streaming and playing music at my computer. So I think this is going to be our last round. Um, Nano, discard your hand. Alright. Once... And then Knight and Nano, go ahead and draw five cards. Do I just press five on the deck? Yes, you yes, can do that. So you're a policeman. I am a policeman, and I need some sort of I need something to help me be better. I, I want to be the and, best policeman ever. And I have something for you. Um, the finger. So it'll help you. It'll point you. With this, you'll always know where the crooks are and how and where to get them. And not only that, uh, a hook, a finger hook. So that when you finally catch them, you can you can wrap them up in this hook, and you will always have your property for arraignment in a completely statutory and legal way. No one could ever accuse you of for anything else. Okay. So a hook finger. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Can I take it off, or is it, like, implanted in my finger? I have a hook for a finger forever. I think, I think, you. well, it's up to you how you want to use it. How you, how you have it on your person is not really important. When I you mean, have it's this important on your body, to me. Only... <laughs> As the case, consumer. Then in that case, 
Well then, well then, my fine consumer, how would you, how would you best like to use something that you, that helps you find out where all the crims are? Would you like it to be on your finger? Would you like to wear it? Maybe have it just be on you, and you can see the criminals glowing with their lurid and nasty deeds. You know what? I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> I'd like to hear from somebody else. <laughs> well, since you police really have a lot of hair, or else the perpetrators would try to crab you, you need some wax, right? A wax flap, to be exact. Because that's the, all the rage these days with the kids. You want to be hip and cool. You feel out of style since you're a policeman. You're fighting the perpetrators. You need to wax and get rid of that. Figure out all that hair. Hey. You definitely need to wax. wax. <laughs> How about instead of getting rid of that hair, put it in this very fashionable cap? Why do you always have clothes? <laughs> <laughs> And it's not just any cap, it's a silence cap, so when you wear it, you're really quiet. And you can so sneak up on all the criminals. I think I like the silence cap! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I didn't know what to do with my car. Here, have a look. Yeah, you, you didn't have good cards. Neither of you had the best cards for this. <laughs> but that's the point of the game. <laughs> you could have had the seed controller. You could have done something with that, I think. <laughs> the wax flap. I like it, though. <clears throat> I had to use flap. Seed flap. <laughs> seed flap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that's, that's enough juvenile entertainment for one night. <laughs> Who won? Um, I got three cards, so I guess I did. Yay, Estenny. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, I, I didn't deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I really just wanted to go the craziest direction I Definitely did. <laughs> Fuck, <Twitter>. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this so I can get rid of some lag. But we will do our wrap ups as soon as that is gone. Gosh, it's so wet. Okay, that oh my computer can breathe again. That's nice. <laughs> So that is going to be it for us tonight with Exploding and Imploding Kittens and Snake Oil. Hopefully you guys had fun watching. Or at least as much fun as we had playing. <laughs> that was kind of crazy. <laughs> Especially towards the end. <laughs> um, but I do want to say thank you so much to Yuri, Nano, and Night and Glow for joining me for Snake Oil. I had fun. And thank you for playing, Knight. I hope you had fun, even though it was kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know if you're saying anything I can't. <laughs> okay, well, does anyone have anything that they would like to promote before we close out of the stream tonight? I would like to promote Astenny because she's a wonderful streamer, a wonderful yeah. Blades in the Darker, and a wonderful Twitch person, and everybody should follow her. Mm -hmm. And well, I would you, like Hannah. to promote Kelsa. <laughs> Everyone should watch all, all the streams Kelsa is on. I don't think anyone you know, like... has time to watch all of the streams that Kelsa's in, to be fair. Probably <laughs> 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 and <is> so <laughs> Knight, is there anything that you would like to promote before I do the end of show wrap? I promote fuck glitter. I think everybody should have some. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. It's easy to make at home. Alrighty. Well. <clears throat> 
I have been your host for Sunday's Game Night. My name is Estady. You can follow me here on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Estady. Or follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Estady. Um, I play board games pretty much every week. Um, next week, I think we're playing the Discworld board game? I think Come we are. <clears throat> that's, that's the one. Yep. We're going to play the Discworld board game. I'm going to have to read the rules at some point because I uh, haven't read them yet. I have no idea how it plays, but I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> if you like <laughs> watching role-playing games, I am in a Blades in the Dark campaign every Saturday at 4 p.m. on Eric Vulgaris's channel. There's a link to that below my Twitch stream. I always host it, though, so if you want to just follow me and watch that, that's fine, too. Um... We basically play criminals where we run a brothel and sell drugs under the cover of a tea house. And we're just really awful people, and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> so um, that's going to be it for me. I'm just going to say a quick shout out. Thank you to Yashiku and Knight and the Panagramic for being active in chat. Makes it a lot more fun to play when people are watching and having fun. So hopefully you guys did have fun. And we will be back next week at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another board game. So, have a great night, everybody. You too.